So I recently upgraded to the iPhone 6 and it was taking some pretty nice pictures. So I decided to give it a test against my T3i and I think the results will surprise you. So my first test was a depth of field test. You know, while the iPhone 6 has a one and a half inch sensor about, and the T3i obviously has a APS-C sensor, you know, which means it should have a lot greater depth of field. The iPhone did have a decent amount of depth of field, but of course the T3i wins in this regard. Now the next thing I tested was low light. They both had similar results. However, the iPhone did have some weird artifacting, which was probably due to like some sort of noise reduction. So because of that, I'd give the T3i a slight edge in this uh, category. However, when I tested the iPhone 4, my last phone to this iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 blew the iPhone 4 out of the water. As you can see, the iPhone 4 can't even get the correct exposure. And this is even with some brightening in post. Now the next category I tested was detail. And um, the iPhone 6 had some pretty good detail. However, it's pretty similar to the T3i. Um, of course, the T3i does have 16 megapixels versus eight megapixels. Um, so the T3i should have more um, detail. However, I think it might be due to some like cheap lenses I was probably using with the T3i. However, once again, you know, I tested this against my iPhone 4 and the iPhone 6 once again has blown the iPhone 4 out of the water as far as detail. Now, dynamic range might possibly go to the iPhone 6 and this is probably due to the auto HDR feature. Now, the iPhone 4 also had this, but you know, you would get some weird effects from um, the two images being too far apart but the iPhone 6 seems to really do it well. So in the end, the best camera is the camera you have with you, um, which oftentimes is gonna be my iPhone. Of course, that said, I wouldn't bring my iPhone to a professional shoot, I'd bring my T3i. And there are a couple of reasons for that, you know, the depth of field, the ability to change the lens is really important too, because you can put on telephoto lenses um, and capture subjects further away. Whereas with the iPhone, you know, has a fixed lens, so you have to like walk closer to the subject in order to get the picture you want. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and stuff.